I'm Susan Woodcock and welcome to Workroom Tech. We're located in Tryon, North Carolina, which is about 40 miles south of Asheville and about the same distance north of Greenville, Spartanburg, South Carolina in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Workroom Tech or Custom Workroom Technical Center is a trade school for the soft furnishings industry. So we have classes in draperies and slip covers and upholstery and other window treatments, pillows and cushions. So if you want to learn how to make anything um, for the workroom industry, come see us. We have three work tables, and these have this great table grid, which we love. Um, we can have six students at a time here, two students per work table. We have six Juki industrial sewing machines, and these are um, the DDL555 model, and they're uh, sort of an entry-level industrial machine. They're a great machine. They just straight stitch and back stitch, and they have servo motors, so we can turn the speed down for our new students, turn the speed up for our more advanced students. So this is a great workhorse, um, just a great machine to learn on as well. We also have walking foot machines. Uh, we have three of those here. This is mine from home <laughs> I brought here. And then we have two more up on the stage. And two of them have servo motors. Mine does not. I hope to put a servo motor on it someday soon. But the walking foot machines we use in our slip cover and upholstery classes mostly. And sometimes in our drapery classes, uh, students will want to use the walking foot machine as well. We have a Juki Serger. I love this machine. It's uh, the um, MO6814S. It's a four thread serger and uh, we use this in our slip cover classes a lot and pillow classes and I also use it um, when we're doing window treatments, uh, serging off dust ruffles. So it's a great machine to have in your workroom and also for teaching. And then we have one blind hammer. Now this is um, a used machine that I purchased because blind hammers have not changed in 50 or more years. <laughs> this is the same blind hammer that you would have bought a long time ago. It's a US blind stitch machine. It's been a lot of fun to teach people how to use blind hammers because some people have a love-hate relationship with blind hammers. I happen to love this one. So this area is our stage area because Workroom Tech, before it was a school, was a bar. And you'll see a bar, the bar in a minute, but there's also a stage where they used to have um, bands play. So um, we have it set up for sort of our walking foot area. We have our um, belt cords up here. And um, it's been a really a great little area, and, and it's kind of fun to be able to be on stage while you're sewing. So this is the bar area. And we have a bunting above that's made out of um, fabrics from student projects here at Workroom Tech. This is where we store our extra thread. And also it's a great kitchen area. We have a microwave and a refrigerator and a teapot. And you can wash your hands and things in the sink back here. But I really like it because it's an excellent conference area. So instead of having a conference table, we have a bar. And it's um, worked out really great. Behind the bar, we have two air compressors, and these are the California Air Tools Quiet Air Compressors. Um, they've been great. We have two of them that can run six staple guns, and they are so quiet that the staple guns are actually louder than the air compressors when they're running. So they're um, a very good air compressor to have in an enclosed space like this. Over in the corner, we have storage and our linings. Um, we have a button press and a grommet press. And these cabinets are really fantastic. They're loaded with all the things we need for class, um, zippers and grommets and extra tool kits and supplies. So this has been really super to help keep us organized. When this was a bar, there were steps that went upstairs here. And when they took the steps out to um, make the space available for us, they had to leave these posts which was great because they were the exact size to put our linings up. So um, these upright posts became our lining racks for class. We have Hanes linings here and for class we keep blackout, heavy flannel, classic sateen, classic nap sateen, and we also have some bump in our lining too. So we have a big pinning wall here. It's kind of messy right now, but uh, this is where I put um, notes and we drape samples for balances class or swags. 
It's also a great place to put up fabrics to stand back and look at what you're working on, to maybe pick out a pattern motif, or to drape like a relaxed Roman to see how that's going to look. So love having a big pinning surface in the workroom. We have a lot of work stands you'll see as you tour workroom tech. Um, we have five of them, five work stands here. So we use those to mount our Roman shades and balances um, as we're working on projects in class. For our upholstery classes and for mounting top treatments, um, we use the air tools because of the air compressors. And we have hoses that are running throughout the ceiling here. And we have Fasco long nose staple guns. Um, really love these staple guns. So we have another sewing area over here with straight stitch machines. And at, on the walls, I have some of the window treatments that were featured in my book. A top treatment, Roman shade, a balloon shade. And we have a lot of Roman shade samples because I just had a Roman shade class. So they're hanging up here at Workroom Tech, including a motorized shade over there at the window. Uh, we have nice big windows with natural light. And I like sort of displaying our students' work for the public to see. Thank you for touring Workroom Tech with me. My husband Roger and I hope that you'll come and visit us here at Workroom Tech. And I also wanted to show you something I'm very proud of. Um, this was presented to me at the 2017 Custom Workroom Conference. And it's my presser foot art, which you can actually buy these from the Workroom Channel. And it's been signed by a lot of the attendees to the Custom Workroom Conference, which we produce. I love walking in here and seeing this every day. Whenever I have a bad day, I can just come over and read all these really sweet messages from some of my workroom friends. So thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.